global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. We have quite uh, two interesting news to render. Father Baka is back, and this time around, despite the fact that um, he has been called and warned to stay clear of political issues and face his clerical, I know there's a lot to be done in the vineyard of the Most High. Uh, we still, still find that natural instinct in him still speaking. This time around, he has decided to let the whole world know exactly how he feels, not just about Bola Metinu, but even indirectly about Peter Obi. In another news as well, uh, the pro- uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu group, that's one of the pro foremost supporters of Bola Ahmed Tunubu, is pleading with Peter Obi. You're going to find out what is it they are pleading with Peter Obi for. It looks like they also understand that indeed Peter Obi is a red gem, and this is what they are begging Peter Obi to do, despite the fact that their principal, uh, uh, IDEC, has already announced their principal as the president elect. Let's quickly run into the news. Uh, quickly before we do that can you subscribe to our channel well according to the news starting with father mbaka father eji kimbaka is no longer news that the 2023 presidential election has been won by the candidate of the all progressive congress asiwaju bola ahmed tunubu asiwaju reportedly pulled over 8 million votes to defeat atiku abubaka of the people's democratic party and peter obi of the labor party uh, following the decision of asiwaju bola ahmed tunubu as the winner of february 25th polls uh, prominent people have been pouring their reactions the spiritual director of the adoration ministry in Ugu, nigeria amen uh, reverend father agk mbaka while praying for nigeria asked the people to accept tinubu as president if that is god's choice let me quote him word for word he said if god has chosen bola ahmed tinubu for nigeria let him be our president a lot has already happened after the presidential election, he said. Speaking further, the man of God urged Nigerians to be united because of the division the 2023 general election has created. All we need is to come, I quote him again, he said, all we need is to come together as one Nigeria. We will lift our candles and ask for help from above because this country can be fixed by God. I could still remember still the same A.G. came back after the Reverend Father G. came back still saying that he wants to ask God for mercy, that they have brought politicians to the church. Oh, God, show mercy. And he was still going to us politics. Well, I don't understand. But let's find out, really, we'll come back to what Nigerians are taking because I can assure you Nigerians are boozing over what Mbaka, Reverend Father G. came back and said concerning this matter. But let's find out what uh, I think that again, Pro Tinubu's group said about Peter Obi. A Pro Tinubu group recently sent a letter to Mr. Peter Obi, the Labour Party's presidential candidate, through a recent article in a prominent newspaper, The Sun. The group had disclosed that some of the presidential candidates who had run for the office of the presidency planned to leave the country after the vote because it didn't appeal to them. They continue by pleading with Mr. Peter Obi, the Labour Party's presidential candidate, not to leave the nation since his skills and abilities would benefit all of Nigeria. Eh? <laughs> Let me laugh a little. Let me quote them word for word. Say, we are hearing rumors that some presidential candidates of various parties have started leaving the country, said this group representative, which is Smart Edward. However, we urge our respected I'm quoting the word for word. Uh, we, we ever urge our respected Labour Party candidate at Peter Obi to remain in the country because his skills, abilities, and accomplishments are required here as a patriot. He does not need to leave the country. You need his uh, capacity. You also need his accomplishment. You didn't vote for him. Or better still, you prefer, you prefer what you will benefit only you and your family as against what you benefit the nation. Now, you know that he has the capacity. You, you recognize that he has the capacity to make Nigeria great. But you don't want to acknowledge him to become the president of this country. And now you're begging him not to leave. Eh, what Peter Obi said is not even leaving anyway. He uses his media, media team to say he's not leaving. The country belongs to him too. But if you think in all honesty, if he doesn't recover his mandate, that he will not become a special advisor to the president. You are joking, you know. 
Well, be that it may, everybody have that, that they're all entitled to their opinion. Maybe that's what they want, the situation where uh, you would rob Peter to pay Paul. It doesn't work that way. If you believe Peter will have the capacity, let him rule. And then you will not judge if he's capable of ruling or not. If you believe your principal has the capacity to rule, then let him rule. But the truth is, hey, hey, it is well. Let's continue anyway. But let's find out what Nigeria is saying about uh, Father G. Kimbaka. This one is A.G. Kimbaka. Father, Biko, Zukwani, K. Okay, I went to pray. He said, Father Mbaka, please rest rest it is well but I, I well i don't know why he's he keeps speaking on this issue although he didn't mention peter of his name but he's just saying hey, well if god have uh once whoever it is that have won the election to rule then let god's will be done uh, if you know so that we can be healing and all that but you know no matter how uh two rights uh two wrongs don't make a right uh, that uh, if peter Obi believes that his mandate was stolen allow him to approach the court and now allow him also to bring his evidences and prove himself right don't because of say okay uh, we, this cannot cause any chaos if we are the one making a uh, more, more heal out of a more hole. There's nothing in this matter. It's just normal. Every, in fact, we're almost used to it in this country. Every election, there will always be some persons who will hit the court. Just that this time around, many Nigerians participated, so they can't say in all honesty that in their polling units, they delivered Peter Obi. So where and where not the Peter Obi did not win? And how come even the places they believe that they delivered Peter Obi, they're not seeing the win in those polling units? That's why you see Nigerians everly so interested in this matter. So, I would have advised, personal opinion, Reverend Fadan Baka should honestly, all honestly, pray for the country called Nigeria. Continue praying for the country called Nigeria. Leave politics to politicians. But if you want to, just like what happened to the Benue State uh, Reverend Father, that was actually a father who contested and actually won. He won. He, he, he probably saw that he has politics in his system, in his bloodstream. He was like, no, I, I can't. Yes, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a father, I'm a cleric, but I, I want to also, you know, be at the hands of affairs, you know, as, as a clergy. And he picked the form. He won. So, yes, in Benue State, we have someone who is a cleric and who also won the seat as an APC flag bearer in gov a governorship. And he won. So, if um, Father Jikebaka have that thing in him maybe he's into politics by all means he's already familiar with the political terrain of the country and he also he has a lot of followership he could go in but if he's a political pastor all well and good but i would say just so that you know nobody keeps calling him out calling him out over issues like this he should just face his ministry man nigerians are screaming on social media this one here say for them back every day you are you are saying things you ought not to say. What is your problem? So even the so-called house of God, we cannot find a human being. How can God Almighty give us a drug baron, corrupt, nep nepotic, incompetent man who is always going to check his health to be president while we, ha while we chose Peter or Mbaka? I'm sorry for your followers. This is what Nigerians are saying. A whole lot of them spoke quite a lot. Uh, just for one, one of time, I'm not be able to get give you all the full details of what people are saying out here. Let's visit our conversation once a take. Have a nice time.